Quick audio check. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone's doing well today. Doing more of our Stardew Valley save. So, yesterday we left off just starting out uh, week two of fall. So we have to remember to today, we have to check the message board. And then, I think we're just focusing on, we are up getting the pickaxe right now, so we should focus on Probably clearing out the forest area. Or oh, the pickaxe is ready. Never mind. I kind of want to go in the forest today, though. Let's be honest. We got a blueprint for a science magazine. Okay. Oh, farm computer. No, farm computer is gonna mid. <laughs> Cause like the farming computer just like tells you stuff about like daily things around the farm, which like I don't really think is necessary. Can you even get that blackberry bush? I don't think you can get that bush. That's D-U-M. Okay. So... I'm debating what I want to do. I think we'll pick up the pickaxe and then the rest of the day go in the forest and then the rest of the week. We gotta check the, 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 the weekly mission. <laughs> Almost forgot. Always freaking forget. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, we can do the bone one. For sure, can do that. Oh, it opens at nine. We're gonna fish until then.
Yeah, I spent like the previous hour like singing. Like I didn't ruin my voice or anything, but I'm I just feel more tired than usual. They usually will like do singing stuff for my TikToks like in the afternoon. But as I decided to do in the morning when like my hair was like actually kind of presentable. Let's go to the forest. I wish I could plant, like, tree seeds out here. But the only area that I found that you can grow trees that aren't on your farm is in the quarry. It'd be nice if we could plant trees out here. I think what we need to focus on now is getting money so we can get some buildings made. I think that'll be the main focus. But I think I'm just going to be saving my money so I can afford like basic buildings. I like to build hella fruit preserve jars. Like, I think on my main save, I have like 50. Yeah, we have to mine in the blue levels for the bones. Remember to do that tomorrow. I know I'm gonna forget. I hate how they place bushes that, oh, you can't get to it, huh? I was like, I hate when they play stuff where you can't get to it, but you literally just have to go behind the other one. Rip.
Blackberries give a significant amount of energy for like a foraged item. So I always try and make sure like I get all of them whenever they're available. That way I don't have to use like my actual crops. I know I should be focusing on like the story missions more. Like I low-key just want to build up my farm. That way I can finish comm center in time. Like I usually don't focus on like the story missions or like friendship building until year two. Because like delivering gifts like it takes your whole day. Like it sucks. still have that plant blocking my energy bar so I cannot see how much energy I have. I mean, that's just operator error. It's really nice that there is a notification on the left side though. That is very nice. Very helpful. show my other thieves on stream at some point. Like, I haven't decorated them at all. Because the way I set up my first um, ever save was like just for efficiency. It's like placement. Like everything is really compact, really close together. I've yet to build, or like completely build, slime farm. I haven't done that yet. Cause like I started one on my personal save and then I accidentally like broke the slime hutch when it was like almost done like making an egg and then I got mad. Cause like I didn't have enough slimes put into the machine and then I was like I don't want to do this anymore <laughs>
Ready for tomorrow. But tomorrow's gonna be a mining day because we need to get the bones mission done. Valley Fair. I actually got first place one time. And you have to mix um, artisan and farmed goods. I got a picture of it on my Twitter of everything that I used. I mean, what sucked? Because, like, I won, I thought I'd get, like, a furniture item, but, like, all I got was more, like, star points, and it's like, that's stupid. I mean, cool, like, I didn't have to play any of the carnival games, but still, it sucked. I was disappointed. I'm gonna get my scythe. That way I can harvest those amaranths. You love her. Honestly, I don't get why people don't like Amaranth. Like, I'm very much like people, as long as this is like terms of service, I think people could do whatever they want. Oh, the shrine is over there. Okay, I was like, where'd it go? Oh, frick, I do have fruit. I'll have to grab those later on the way home. Linus like sounds like such a dweeb name. Like let's be honest. It's Bones Day. <laughs> I never understood that meme for the longest time. But I was informed that it's kind of like Groundhog's Day. Essentially. I was like, oh, okay, it's kind of dumb. But I, like, I can understand why it popped off. We got a new sword. We need a 30. Nope, not better. Love our new pickaxe. We love her.
Yeah, my voice does seem like a little raspier today. Or it just feels like it. I have been getting like a lot of like migraines too recently. It's cause like, I know it's cause like I'm looking at too many lights, like looking at screens all day. Like that has to be it. Like I think I sang like four mini covers this morning. Like I was gonna do more but like I changed my lighting position to like where the, like the ring light would be right in my face. Like I got a headache after like 30 minutes. Shoutouts to all the models who like pose for way too long. Don't think I'd be able to do it, man. I put my title with fish pun right because I thought we were going to be fishing this week but I failed to realize that it's going to be a mining week. Sorry about that. There's a lot of skeletons surprisingly today. Usually not this many. Lucked out today boys. sucks how not every time that you defeat a skeleton guy they drop bones. I don't get that. Like not how every time you break a stone you get stone. That to me sucks. Another sword! Let's go! We can sell that for what? 500 bucks? I was gonna say that's not a lot, but it's actually kind of a lot. Cause, like we broke right now. But yeah, my dad sent me some of the money he owes me back this morning. Boggers. Not as broke now. <laughs> Now we don't have to worry as much. Cause like honest I was honestly really worried about like overdrafting my card. Cause like the only automatic payments I have is like my phone bill, um, my YouTube premium. I have Amazon Prime student, I believe. A and then <laughs> I'm honestly really curious because like after Squid Games, um, uh, because there's like an app where you can stream like Asian dramas, so like K dramas, J dramas, and they have a couple of Taiwanese and like, Chinese dramas. Like honestly, I was really into K dramas before, 
and then like Squid Game just kind of reminded me of my love for them. I mean, Squid Game is like definitely really artsy, and I remember like I really like romance K dramas because like just like the editing and like the acting is so funny or so over the top. Like it's it's great, like good entertainment, right? Like I honestly wonder, like how many like downloads or like memberships they got added after the Squid Game release. Cause like as as of recent, I've just been watching K dramas in my free time. Did I not get the ladder yet? No shot. I should have gotten it by now. Oh, there it is. Thank goodness. God. It freaking forever. Usually it doesn't spawn. Or it's, it'll spawn sooner, rather. <laughs> so I'm just checking a few things in my computer. Oh, there's one guy. I was like, I don't think there's gonna be any skeleton guys here. Ooh! Got a reward. Nice. I can probably do a few more of these levels again. We have about like an hour and a half. We got 34 today. That's actually a lot. Usually it takes me forever to do this mission. Watch there be no skeletons now, when we had hella skeletons earlier. Oh, there's one guy. Cool. Two guys. There is a lot more stones, though, than earlier. That guy's running fast! Slimes are the worst enemy. Like, for sure, the worst enemies. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. I really wish we had the minecarts. Like, that'd be so nice. It's gonna be a bit till I can get those. Yeah, we can pick up these fruits now we got enough space. We 
We can put one more tapper out. I'm gonna need to craft more iron bars for more tappers. I've got so many bones. <laughs> Bone swords. Yeah, way too many, dude. Not enough room. Okay, so I'll just put those back in there for now. Because once we have more crops, I'm gonna need one for just fruit, one for just veggies. Okay, I think we should be ready to go for tomorrow. So tomorrow's gonna be another day of matting. Get more of that bones missions done. I'm gonna keep everything in my inventory because I have enough space now. Like, I'm just used to the habit of putting stuff away. Like, I just need to keep it in my inventory. I just put my stupid seeds back too! Oh my god. I'm totally blanking, man. I was like, I should go buy some more seeds too, but it's Wednesday and the freaking store is closed. It's fine. We always got tomorrow. It's okay. No need to lose our shit now. Okay, now we can go mining.
I need to get better at switching my tools. Like, I'm kind of alright at it. I just need to be quick. Oh no, oh no, I just want to check. Well, we got another 30. A pretty good haul. So I got time to do a few more levels again. So I don't know if we'll get as many enemies as we have again tomorrow. Like, the last time I got the Bones mission in my personal save, it took me, like, literally the whole week to get all the Bone pieces. Because, like, not enough enemies would spawn.
Looks like luck is on our side this week. So many fragments we got now. Probably like 80. About oh, 67. <laughs> Overestimated by a long shot. Probably have time for one more level. One or two more. Already 850. Time to go home now. Let's get these started. Wait, oh yeah, I gotta buy more seeds tomorrow so I don't have any plant.
Hopefully we can finish the bones mission today. I think we got enough salmon, so I don't think we have to worry about that for now. So I think I'm going to fish in the morning until the shop opens, buy some seeds, and then mine the rest of the day. Okay, so it's 11, so we have 17 days left of the season. Buy a few pumpkins. A few yams. I think I'll do the rice bok choy. That way I can just stock up on those. We're doing well today. I appreciate you coming in. I'm pretty quiet for the most part. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't talk unless I'm talked to. No, feel free and chill. Lurk. Whatever, goes, whatever is good for you. You're in a Dead by Daylight game? Nice, nice. Am I on PC? I'm playing on my Switch right now. Like, I would do PC gaming, but, like, I, I, um, I stream on my laptop. And, like, the difficulty I can see happening is if I stream, like, just on the laptop and play game on it, like, I won't be able to see chat or, like, monitor, like, my streaming software. So, like, I'm really concerned about that. Oh, cool. I'd love your friend code. I can visit your island or you can see my shitty island for Animal Crossing, you know? <laughs> um, I was gonna say. So like, cause like I, like my TV's over here, my laptop is on in front of me on a little desk. Like I can see chat and like my peripheral vision. And like, 
My voice is a little rough today because I was singing earlier. Um, but like, when I initially started streaming with this laptop, there were so many like issues. Like, it took me a while to like learn like what settings I had to use. Like, right now I'm streaming at 720, that because that's like kind of all that she can handle. Even though she's like a fucking two thousand dollar Alienware laptop, but you know it's I it's fine. I got the ladder already, okay. But like sometimes if I play a game on here that's too high frame rate, she lags and that's frustrating. But it's okay, it's fine. Like honestly, I only play Switch games in general, like I don't do much PC. Mainly because like I like the feel of the controller in my hands. But yeah. There's like no skeleton guys today. RNG sucks. The way you chat is so cute though. <laughs> Cause like, I know when I chat in other people's streams, like... Like, I think I'm somewhat active. Why? It's just cute! It's like, just little, like, exclamations and, like, emotes. It's- it's cute. Um, nothing wrong with it. Cause like, when I chat, like... I always try and think of, like, something, like... Like, additive or, like, kind of funny... To say. Cause like, I really like streams where, like... <laughs> when the chat is like funnier than the streamer. Like that's low-key my favorite thing. Cause there's not a lot of like bigger streamers that actually like read chat. Cause there there's too many people baiting and stuff. But there's a few larger ones that will like bounce back and forth with chat and I really like that dynamic. I need expressions. <laughs> I think I unironically use like emojis now and I hate it. I always use like the sweat smile and apparently that one is really cringe and I didn't realize that one was like cringe. Cause like only like Facebook moms use that now and I was like oh man that sucks it's not cool. Mainly cause like it's so hard to like distinguish emotions just through text. I didn't know that either. Yeah, we learned- I learned something new too, man. <laughs> I think it was like a trend like a year ago to like put like text bars and then emojis for like meme videos. Or like those were really popular on Facebook a bit ago. And then it was clowned on and just meme to oblivion. But yeah, Rainy, you need to catch up on, like, Twitch trends, because, like, I'm still surprised how you didn't know, like, what Omega Law was. Oh my god, that was insane. Like, did. Gotta keep up with it. I was on TikTok and I did the emoji and someone commented 30-year-old. <laughs> and I was like, what? Yeah, see, that's just a telltale sign there. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> see... Those are the kind of comments I would make, like just trolling. Hello, George Falls. Hope you're doing well today, man. I didn't know it was so like out of pocket. <laughs> well, now you know. I think some emojis are, are okay. I think some are fine. I <laughs> I was like talked to my sister the other day and uh because my friend he and his other friend released like a podcast a year ago but then they randomly stopped doing it and she like dared me um to like comment on in like the youtube comments <laughs> so like we were like trying to think of like a really funny like troll comment and we decided on yo when's the next episode dropping because like the last one came out like a year ago and so I put like two question marks and then she put like two like smirk emoji faces and it was the funniest thing. Just like my sister, she's not too expressive, so it it's not often to like where she'll get like super like into something or like excited. And like we we're just laughing our asses off because like it's so cringe. 
Because, <laughs> like, that comment can either be, like, seen as genuine or just, like, trolly, right? It was great. It was great. Because, like, the best way to engage with, like, creators you like is to, like, either retweet or comment. Because engagement definitely helps with, like, most any algorithm on social media. So, like, on my friends post, like, I, I will always try... Not always, but, like, I will try my best to, like, reply and stuff. Because, like, from an outside perspective, if someone sees that someone is, like, genuinely engaging with you, then <clears throat> they understand that, like... There's like, I'm trying to like think of like a nice way to word it. Like if someone else is willing to spend the time engaging with them, then it kind of like validates what they're doing and creating. Like I'm in one discord and there's like an art um, server. I think that's what it's called. Art section. And like, I will always like reply to like people's drawings and stuff. But, like, oh, I like this specific thing or the shading is really nice or the forms are really cool. Because even just one nice comment can, like, make someone stay. Especially when you, like, with, like, drawings and stuff, if you point out something specific, then it actually shows that you're taking time to look and absorb whatever they're making. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Because there's a lot of people who don't get any positive reinforcement. So I think it's important to just... When people are pursuing, like, creative stuff, to encourage them if you can. Because I know, like, I received some encouragement, but, like, once you hit a certain age, like, creative careers aren't as, like, acceptable, I guess. But that's just how it is. Honestly, I talked about this yesterday, but I'm really curious to see what the job market will be like in 20, like, 30 years, based on, like, how much automation is so influential in our workplaces now. Like, I honestly was thinking, the reason why, yeah, so that's true, yeah. It's kind of like, not scary, but it's concerning to think about when there's like already um, population increases and then therefore you have to have enough people and jobs available. Like majority of the jobs with automation are gonna be like maintenance, like maintaining the equipment. So, like mechanics, repairmen are gonna be in demand. Like, I was, I was like, I'm doing graphic design college online. So, oh, it's already 9.30, frick. I was not looking at the time. Okay, we're fine. How many more fragments do we need? We only got like 10 today, so that kind of sucks. Fuck, we need 11 more. Okay, it's only Thursday, so we're fine. We should be able to get it all tomorrow. Um. Anyway, oh yeah. I was saying like, I'm doing graphic design online college. So... The way I see it, like, I honestly think creative careers will be in demand because it's kind of limited on what an AI can do, to, like, create an original piece. But then there's also some, like, AI programs that create, can make some, like, really nice renderings or, like, face tuning. Because face tuning is just AI. That's basically what it is. Or, like, deep fakes. Deep fakes are insane. If you're gonna, like, don't look too far into them because, like, it's honestly really creepy. And, like, the TTS, like, voice bots, those are insane. So, like, I really hope that creative careers are still in demand. Because, like, entertainment in general is so essential. Which is very much seen in, like, the past year, how, like, a lot of people are staying home and stuff. So it makes sense that entertainment will still be required. I, mean, I got a lot of stuff today. <laughs> oh my god. When did she stop being cool? Like, I remember... Like, I was kind of saying it before it was a meme. Like, unironically. And then it became a meme, and now it's not cool anymore. Doing eyeshadow. Ooh, cute. I wish I could do... Oh, okay, I, I bet if I tried... I have never worn makeup. Like, never ever. Story time. I've said this story before, but like, I don't wear makeup because I was essentially traumatized when I was in kindergarten because we had a school play and I was chosen to be a clown. So like I had to wear face paint for like hours on end and it was horrible. 
Like, I remember I'd, like, try and, like, wipe it off my face. But then, like, I couldn't do that because you gotta keep it on for the show, right? So, like, I'd, like, wipe it off. And then they'd hit me backstage and put more on. So after that, like, I just, I just don't fuck with makeup. And, like, I touch my face way too much. For it to, like, stay on properly. <clears throat> Damn, yeah. Sad day. And also, my mom never taught me how either, so, you know, that too. Oh, gentle reminder. We are about an hour into today's stream. I might go for maybe an hour more. I'm actually going through this week pretty quickly. But, yeah, gentle reminder. Drink some water, get a snack if you need it. If you're new here, drop a follow. I'd appreciate it. It helps me out. If you're a lurker, a returning viewer, I appreciate you. You know? Nice hanging out with y'all. YouTube taught me. See, like, I've tried, like, watching a few tutorials, but, like, I have this thing. Because, like, I'm crafty. Like, I draw, I craft and stuff. But, like, I have to see what my hands are doing. Like, I remember my grandma taught me, like, how to, like, crochet. Or try, try to teach me how to crochet. And, like, I couldn't do it. <laughs> like, it was just, like, too much, like, mental, like, processing for some reason for me. Like, I even have difficulty, like, playing games sometimes. That's why I don't play, like, FPS. Like, my brain's not big enough for it. I, I like, I know I should- Oh, okay. <laughs> Get into the makeup debate. Um, I think people, if you feel more comfortable wearing it, go for it, you know? But I don't think people should be, like, or feel like they're obligated to wear it. Like, I've never been in a workplace where it was required to, like, dress up or, like, wear makeup, which is good because I don't- like, if that was a requirement, I wouldn't work there. Like, no shot. Because, like, I also don't really want to wear makeup, too, because it just seems- like, with, like, contouring and stuff, you can easily change, like, your face structure and you can look totally different. Like, I'm fine with, like, eyeliner, eyeshadow, because, like, that's additive. But, like, concealer and, like, contouring is too transformative. <clears throat> in my opinion. Oh, frick, it's full. Yeah, you should feel like you shouldn't need to make it- make everyone else okay with- yeah, for real. Like, it's unfortunate that, like, young people feel like they're obligated to wear it. It's crazy how much makeup can change your face. Oh yeah, for real, like, it's- it's crazy, like, especially, like, angles and stuff. I just, like, I really, like, I guess, like, the genuine, like, aesthetic. That's why, like, I don't use any face filters. I know, like, because I have a Samsung, so, like, it- it sucks because, like, I didn't realize it automatically defaults to, like, some face, like, editing in terms of, like, smoothing out the face. Like, I disabled everything because, in my head, like, I just want to see what everyone else sees. Like, I'm fine with people like Facetune. It's just, you should not promote it to an extent where you're like, oh, this is always me. Because, like, there's a sense of, like, um, not defense. I'm thinking of, like, I can't find the word, but it's, like, it just feels disingenuous if that's all you post, you know? That's why I don't edit my pics. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You know, because you don't want to create, like, a false image of yourself, either. Because it kills you mentally. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, I got my first phone when I was in 8th grade. My first phone was a blackjack. Not a blackberry, it was a blackjack. <laughs> so, I didn't have any, like, apps or anything. But, like, I, I got my first smartphone when I was in high school. It was a Samsung Galaxy S. 
And I think the current phone that was out was like the S5. So, um, still very limited. And I didn't start using social media till like my senior year of high school, I believe. And even then, like, I didn't post too many pictures of myself because, like, I knew if I started, it would get bad. I used to edit my eyes and make them bigger and my face skinnier, and I think it really messed me up because I couldn't upload anything without editing it. Now you can take a shot and post without edits. That's good. You know, that's... It takes a lot to, like, get past that hurdle, you know? And it's really good that you were able to, like, grow past that because... Like we were saying earlier, like you're just gonna feed into that insecurity if you keep like presenting that edited version of yourself. Like I'm fine with like angles, like getting good angles, like I think that's fine because that's not transformative in that sense. But like with angles, then theoretically someone can actually see that angle IRL. But before it's bad because everyone is doing it. Yeah, it, it sucks how like the collected norm establishes what's okay and what's not okay. Like what I really cause, like I'm on TikTok like every day now. Like it's bad. I used to avoid it a lot because I honestly hate how TikTok will automatically play videos. So I downloaded it like a year ago just to get my user, and I started posting about a month ago. So, like, now I'm on it every day, so, like, and it sucks how, like, I really don't, f like, filters. I honestly hate them. Like, I think they're so bad. Especially for young people. Because you're like, oh, yeah, I look definitely look better with this filter on. That changes, like, your face or your eye shape or, like, adds makeup. And it's just not healthy. I think there's also, like, an argument for, like, photoshopping for, like, shoots because, like, in that case, like, the photographer has a specific, like, image they want. <clears throat> so I can kind of understand in some instances why they photoshop. Like, I'm fine if they, like, do, like, skin smoothing. I think that's kind of fine. I think it's okay as long as, like, the model consents to it. Like, I know there's been a couple of cases where, like, the model doesn't know there's gonna be, like, photoshopping or face tuning, and, like, that's not okay, right? Yeah, photoshopping is bad, I don't mind the skin smoothing, no big deal, but it's, like, not, like, sculpting your I agree, I agree. Or your body, yeah, it's unfortunate how, like, a lot of um, like, people who are not, who are, like, far from, like, overweight are still, like, being body sculpted. It's not, it's not okay. That's a huge one, people photoshopping their body. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a heavy topic. And, like, everyone has their own, like, outlook on it. It's interesting how, like, marketing campaigns will use... I think it depends on like your target target demographic like if it's for younger people then they don't won't necessarily understand that it's edited but like if they're older then like i think they'd have the understanding like there was some like um editing done or like you know how when you see like um ads for medicine it'll have in like tiny print like all the negatives it should be fully disclosed if there was like editing done that way it's very explicit on, like, what happened. Or, like, why image looks the way it does. I don't know what an ass is supposed to look like. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I've disabled all bad words, so it'll delete your message. <laughs> Mainly because, like, I don't have any, like, consistent viewers. Therefore, like, I don't have any mods. And, like, in my head, I like to keep things, like, PG-13. Like, I'll make some jokes that aren't PG-13, but I try and keep those to minimum. It's kind of like how when you see a film, there's, like, a certain number of, like, fucks you can say before it becomes, like, R-rated. It's 
okay, yeah, thank you. Did I get enough fragments yet? Oh, I did! Okay, okay. Get out of here. Oh, I don't have all the fragments. Frick, I'll have to do that tomorrow then. Because they're all at home. I hate the missions where you have to deliver the product. Because I'll forget to deliver it and then miss the mission and it's just like... That sucks. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to go down! Okay, let's just go home, because I gotta plant the seeds that I got today. I already planted- oh my god, I'm- I'm totally blanking right now. I think it's because, like, I got a fat-ass ring light in my face. Like I said earlier, but, like, I had a migraine earlier. Like, it's not kicking back in, but it's still, like, kind of there. Okay, I'm gonna go back up and sell all of these. I don't need them. Who honestly uses the slingshot? Does anybody? Let's see what rings. I wish I could wear more rings. Kind of BS, they can only wear two. Like, it's in to have a ring on every finger, you know? I used to be really into jewelry when I was in, like, middle school. Like, I'd wear, like, rings and bracelets and necklaces. But now, like, I'm not too into it. I think because, like, I'd wear necklaces too much. So, like, you'd get the little, like, green lines on your neck. And, like, that freaked me out. <clears throat> I also, like, don't understand how people can wear wedding bands if you're handling food. Like, our um, health department's, like, rules is, like, you can wear one ring. But no more than one ring is bad. That's not food safe. But it's like, because in my head, when you wash your, okay, when you wash your hands, right, you like, like rub your fingers in between each other. It's like if you're wearing a ring, like you're not scrubbing your ring down. It's so like the ring is probably gnarly and gross, right? Like when I was working in food service, there's one girl, oh my god, it was so fucking annoying. Like she wore like a charm bracelet and I would tell her to take it off because like, it's a charm bracelet, so, like, it's not gonna be inside your glove, right? It's gonna be, like, dangling and touching food and shit. And I tell her, take it off. It's like, why- I tell you every day to take it off. Like, just fucking leave it at home. And it's- it's just annoying. It's like, do you not understand that, like, you can get somebody sick? I bet if you're wearing that all day, it's gonna be fucking disgusting. And, like, I understand that, like, friendship bracelets are cute, you know? Like, the little, like, cloth ones. Or, like, the string ones that you, like, kind of braid together. But, like, also, those are gross, too. And let's be honest. Like, you don't scrub that down, either. Now, let me just say, I'm not a germaphobe, but, like, after COVID, like, I mean, during COVID, it's still going on, huh? Like, I just become so much more, like, conscious about, like, being sanitary and stuff. Like, I used to make fun of my mom she would bring sanitizer everywhere she went like pre-covid but now i'm like that's actually a good idea <laughs> like <laughs> when I, whenever i've hung up my friends recently like i will like tell them to, to sit like i went out i hung out with katie a couple weeks ago 
And like, I haven't seen like anybody for months. <clears throat> Cause like, I don't do anything. But um, and like, <laughs> we were walking out of the store and I sanitized my hands cause they had a little dispenser. And like, she walked out without sanitizing and I looked back, I was like, hey. I was like, we should probably sanitize our hands, right? She's like, yeah, we should. <laughs> cause like, I'm, I'm low key super manipulative. Like, I will, like, imply, like, I'll say things to imply that someone should do something. So, like, the whole time we were hanging out, like, <laughs> I was just kind of looking, like, hey, you should just sanitize your hands, right? Like, just kind of, like, clowning on it. And I was like, you know, I'm just training you right now. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god, finally some fucking maple syrup. Let's go. Uh, my people? Yeah, my peeps. <laughs> <clears throat> You're gonna be streaming later, right, Amy? Like, what? It's like 3 o'clock for you right now? Okay. See if we can craft. 6 30? Okay. Still in a couple hours. Okay. Cool, cool. I should be able to pop by. I'm really concerned. Like, my internet has been like. Kind of spotty recently ever since sunday like i don't know i pay like fucking 150 dollars a month for 30 upload 60 download so like i better be getting really nice rates right but they've been like shitty since sunday like i can stream like it's so fine but like whenever i have too many tabs open i've noticed like it's been kind of spotty like i'll i'll my sister, like, actually played games with me yesterday, which never, like, literally never happens. She was like, you wanna play Mario Kart? I was like, oh, yes I do. Cause, like, my sister, she's kind of reclusive, like, she'll keep to herself. Oh. I was like, oh, we can play Mario Kart together. So, like, we were playing online, and it was fine for an hour, and then, like, during the second hour, it was at, like, 7pm. I think cause, like, everyone was home. Cause, like, everyone in my house, like, we all kind of keep to ourselves. Because we're all kind of, like, introverted. Um, but, like, our internet just kept dropping. And I was getting mad, because... I know for, like, Nintendo Switch, like, if you quit a game, you can get banned. Like, temporarily. But, like, if your internet drops, like, you're fine. But it was still, it was still frustrating. I'm not sure if it was because we were playing, like, multiplayer. Because, like, whenever I play, like, single player, it's fine. Like, no issues. I'm actually ready with well, the house of people who tell me who will be to be quiet. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely the type to like, if I'm like with a friend, like I'll I'll like turn myself on. You know, like I'll be a bit more talkative if I'm comfortable with them. Like I'm definitely like I'll keep to myself. Like whenever me and my sister hang out, like we just like sit around and like play around on our phones because like. Just, like, knowing that the other person is there is really comforting. Very social. <laughs> yeah, that's good, that's good. I've honestly become, like, a bit more sociable once I graduated from school. I think because, like, once you're, like, out of school, you get to decide when and, like, who you interact with. Versus, like, when you're in public school, you're kind of, like, not forced, but, like, you only have, like, a few, like, people you interact with that you have to, like, talk to every day. Are your ears pierced, Rini? I'm curious. Wait, do you wear earrings? 
Because right now I'm making jewelry. I don't have piercings. I know it's funny. I make jewelry, but my ears aren't pierced. But I'm working on... No? Oh, really? Okay. That's okay. That's okay. So I'm working on... Because, like, my all-time dream is to, like, launch some type of product. Like, that's always been, like, a lot, a long-term goal for me. Like, I'm working on making some clay jewelry right now. Like, I have a couple, like, in-progress pictures previously I posted on Twitter, I think. But, like, right now, I've ordered some custom, like, shapes and cutters. I'm working on different techniques so we can hopefully launch, like, an online shop either early 2022 or, like, springtime. That's my goal. <clears throat> I don't either. I had it when I was little. It got infected. Never did it again. Oh, that sucks. That's honestly like, I know, like, my dad was so adamant on not letting me and my sister get our ears pierced whenever we were little. And I remember we went on. Um, it was my sister, me, and my mom. We had a family emergency, so we went to go see my grandparents for a couple months. And since my dad wasn't there, my mom was like, "Hey." my sister she's like hey since dad's not here you want to get your ears first and she's like yeah <laughs> this is when she was like 10 mind you so she was like older <clears throat> so she got her ears pierced without my dad's permission <laughs> i mean it's just like a simple like piercing nothing too crazy um i don't know where it's going with that but like I was like hers, thankfully didn't get didn't get infected or anything. Um, but like I'm so scared of that. Also, kind of going along with like the theme of like um, being like genuine. I don't like piercings. I don't like tattoos. For me, like I think everyone else can do whatever they want. Like self-expression is cool. But like for me, I'm good. I also don't like permanence. Like knowing that like. I've altered my body. I just don't like that too much. I know, like, I've made a few variations with, like, magnets. Like, that's doable. Because uh, what I was planning on doing when I launched is mail out a few samples to, like, friends and, like, online friends. To, like, get feedback and stuff. My own famous tattoos, but not me. Permanent scares me too, yeah. It's just like, I don't want to do something that, that I think is cool and then a year later be like, oh, this is kind of mid. GBH. I think it's also because, like, I came from an Asian household. So there's kind of like stigma against, like, piercings or tattoos. Like, my mom has piercings. Like, she just has a simple ear piercing. Like, nothing too crazy. I don't know why I'm fishing today. I thought I was going to do more mining. I mean, honestly, we do need money right now. Because, yeah, we need to start working on getting buildings started. Because I think I kind of want to try fishing the rest of the season and then winter just focus on mining. I'm also kind of hyped because I usually don't wear orange, but like my nails actually match my outfit for once. Cause like I'll paint my nails once a week, and I have maybe like twenty-five colors. 
Like, I'm, I'm so OCD to where, like, I have to do them in, like, chronological order. I'll show them on, on cam later. Unless you want to see it now, I don't care. But, like, it's it's from Hollow Taco. They're actually really nice. She's a YouTuber. I don't watch her content, but, like, the nail polish is nice. Okay, I'll show you now. I'll show you now. <laughs> Since you're here, nail check. It's actually, like, a really cute romper. Got it from Fred Meyer. Nice. Will she focus? There we go. It doesn't really show up as well on cam, but like it's a nice rainbow chrome effect. So like in like yellow lighting or like natural sunshine, it's really nice. <clears throat> Love the curl outfit. Thank you. I think this romper was only like twenty bucks. Surprisingly, I was also kind of bummed because when I bought it, they didn't have any other colors. Like I think this would look like a lot cuter, and like. A white, a black, or like a nice pastel pink. But they only have this bright coral orange. Which I don't like as much. Because like it makes my skin have like a really weird warmer tone. But you know it's fine. Gotta wear some color, right? Like I have two aesthetics. It's either like super femme or like low-key mask. Like whenever I go shopping for clothes, like I will always look in the men's section. It's just like the fits are cooler in my opinion. Like I've I've gotten a couple compliments on shirts and like people are like, oh, where did you get? I was like, oh the men's section. They're like, oh I was like, yeah, like some men fits are like kinda cool. I'm pretty femme. Oh yeah, I totally femme. <laughs> like, I've only ever seen you wear pink, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> but it's cute, you know? It's really cute. I like pinks and purples and yellows. A lot of, like, warmer hues. Like, I usually will gravitate towards more darker tones. Like, just looking at my closet, it's a lot of, like, neutrals, a lot of blues, a lot of, like, blacks. I like pa I like prints a lot, like, pattern stuff. You can get some pretty nice fits from, like, like, consignment shops or secondhand shops, like, let's be honest. I like having my ring light on the warm sitting, yeah, same. Like, white lights freak me out sometimes. I don't like, like, blue lights. Or, like, white lights that have, like, a kind of bluey tint. It's also because, like, my room gets a lot of sunlight. Like, I get sunlight from this, like, towards me, facing me. So, like, if I- I tried it before with, like, a blue, like, white light. And, like, it makes the colors look really weird. Like, right now, like... I have- I kinda know how to use my camera, cause I have a nice Sony A6400. Oh, we got an albacore, nice. So like, I have my ISO at... a thousand. Because... your ISO determines like how much like light it takes in. Because that way you can kinda see like the shape of my lights back here, they're star shaped. Cause I had on auto ISO before, and it made the background look really washed out. Like, it could not focus on, like, the lights back here. <clears throat> so, like, I just have to increase, like, saturation and brightness levels. Because, like, it does show up a little dark on the camera. I don't like the blue tint makes me anxious, yeah. Like, I have the blue, like, finish on my glasses. I honestly don't know how much it helps. It's an extra 70 bucks, but you know, the lady at the counter was like, you have to get it. And I was like, I guess I have to. I think it's also like just the amount of light you take in. Like I can look at my computer all day and I'll be fine. But like if I'm like looking at my TV or like if I have my ring light on for too long, then like I get migraines. Man, I had take so much energy to fish.
I think what's nice, because like my ring light is actually really nice. It's it like it lights up the whole room. So whenever I'm like drawing and stuff, I'll use that light. Because an issue I had before with my other room is that the light bulb was way too dim. Like anytime I tried to read or draw, like I would just strain my eyes. But like the ring light is actually really nice. Like if I just put it in like the far corner of my room from where I'm working, it's a lot more illuminative. Is that even a word? Oh, that, that was kind of cool. <laughs> it, it illuminates the room a whole lot more than like the regular fixture on the ceiling. <laughs> Sounded like a Harry Potter spell, maybe. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. I'm actually surprised I didn't like stumble when I was saying it. Illuminative. That's so weird. <laughs> I had a phase when I was in middle school where I thought I could beatbox. So, like, I legitimately tried to, like, not rap. Or, like, like beatbox and then kind of rap. Like the one, let's go sample. Oh my god, no, 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 not it. Not. I, uh, okay, let's be honest. I would like to learn music production. Like, I honestly would. But it just, because there's so many different parts to it. Like, there's one, like, there's lyricism, there's, like, rhythm. You gotta think of, like, background vocals. You have to think about, like, combining different. In oh no, I fucked up. I fucked up. Okay, we're fine. We're still kind of slow, but we're fine. I did the same thing. Upload a video on Facebook and then year, years later I was like, what the frick? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's really cute how, like, people who learn music production early on, or, like, know the basics, they'll, like, upload, like, genuine, like, attempts at, like, vi music videos when they're, like, 15. And it's so cute to, like, look back on them. Um, Andrew Callahan from Channel 5, or All Gas No Breaks, um, he has a music video that he and his friends released when they were, like, teenagers, and it's so fucking funny. Like, it's so good. I have so many. You don't have to send me those. If you feel comfortable, like, I want to see them. I I'll clown on you a little bit. <laughs> but I, I think it's so cute when people are, like, pursuing of stuff on their own. It's really endearing. Like, people are doing it for fun. Because, like, they actually genuinely like it. It just seems so wholesome. I think tomorrow I'm going to be fishing more because I need to buy- Oh, I don't have a lot of bait. Okay. I thought I needed to buy more. <clears throat> okay, so I think I'll do one more um, day in game. So probably 20 more minutes on stream. Well, I just got an email saying that my clay cutters are coming in the mail. Let's go! Because, oof, I have the cup touching my mic. Trout soup. Yummy. Like, I told myself if I'm ever gonna, like, sell a product. Bone mill. Like, I want to make everything in-house that I can. Because if you look up polymer clay earrings on like Instagram or like an, on Etsy there's a lot of people who use the same shapes and cutters so like there's not a lot of like original designs so 
I, I've always told myself I want to make something that stands out. Make something original. Because if you use the same elements that everyone else is using, it's very difficult to create like a unique product. Or like create a unique style. So like I'm working on designing my own shapes, my own cutters. Yeah, make your stand out for sure. Because like... I'm not too into fashion, mind you. But like, I think it'd be cool to like build a brand from scratch. That'd be like cool. <laughs> that'd be cool, yeah, it'd be cool. Oh, let's see, can I make even one reserve jar? Oh, it just takes fucking- Oh, I thought I needed- Okay, I just need stone, wood, coal. I thought I needed more shit for it. Oh my god, I wasted all this time. I could have been making bank. It's the kegs that need resin. Oh my god. Okay, we're going mining today because we have no coal. That's what we're doing. We're going mining. Because the preserve jars and the kegs is where you make literally all your money. Or the majority of your money. Okay, we're going mining, boys. You see, the plan is simple. Boys! <laughs> Any Ludwig viewers in chat? <laughs> um, plan is simple. Like, I gave myself, like, a year. So, like, like a timeline of a year. Um, make content. Build following. Release product. Make millions. That's the plan. Because, like, especially nowadays, like, it's very hard. Or, like, online marketing is Online marketing is insane. Like, it's crazy. Like, I know I've bought so many products just off of, like, Instagram ads. I love that plan. Let's go. I know, right? It's simple. I mean, it'll take time. Like, I told myself I need a year to accomplish all that. Because, especially with, like, Twitch stuff, I started streaming in August... Like, I initially did art because I didn't have, like, a gaming laptop that could handle streaming. Because I don't have a PC or anything. Um. I think it's important to, like, not to get too discouraged if you don't see growth immediately. Because, like, I don't have a lot of IRL friends. So, like, and, like, of those friends, they don't- they're not into Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> or like any online stuff so like I, d I never really had that extra boost you know that's why I'm like I'm not too concerned about growth right now like I think I just also need to build up like confidence because I know like something I do struggle with is like consistently engaging like, if I have a chatter, like, I can easily bounce off of people. And, like, if I see that I have someone, like, in chat that I know, I guess I turn myself on a little bit more. But, like, it's so hard because, like, just the discoverability on Twitch is really difficult. Like, even when I first started, like, I would, like, look around the discovery tab. Like, I would dedicate an hour every day. Like, go into random people's, like one viewer streams and like chat and stuff 
to, like, try and build some type of repertoire. But, like, what a lot of people don't realize is... A lot of, like, small streamers, they don't spend a lot of time in other people's channels. Like, a lot of people who engage here, I've... It's me from interacting in their channel. Like, I have one consistent channel. Shout out Yana. She's not here yet. <laughs> Probably because she's fucking sleeping. Fucking night owls. Um, anyway. But, like, I initially found her channel and, like, was chatting. And then, because of that... Because, like, her vibe, like, she's, she's funny. It's so, like, we will, like, easily bounce off of each other. But, like, because of that... Like, we're both consistent in each other's chats. Like, we both just have one viewer, typically. So, like, it's usually just us talking to each other. <laughs> but, um, it's still important to, like, build some type of reputation in that aspect when you're growing. <clears throat> like, I know I could enable, like, some extensions to, like, increase engagement. But that's just not the vibe I'm going for right now. Like, I think... Those type of extensions are more, I guess, entertaining when you have, like, a larger chat. Like, in terms of, like, at least five people engaging. Like, I love channel predictions. Like, oh my god, I was watching Hassan Piker's stream last night, and he was playing Mario Party with, um, Valkyrie, Lily Pichu, and Saikuno, I believe. And, like, all the predictions were, like, will he win the next game? And, like, I voted no every single time, and I was up, like, 100,000 channel points. It was insane. Because, like, I'd gamble, like, 20,000, no, 50,000 every time. And I was watching it with my sister, and I was like, look, I'm going to gamble 50k, and I'm going to be up another 10. So, like, I'd gamble 50k, and then I'd win 60k, like, most every prediction. It was insane. I gained so many points. I felt so cool. But, like... Those prediction, like, games are, like, only really fun if you have, like, a larger chat, which kind of sucks. Like, it takes a while to build up that, I guess, dynamic, I guess. Predictions are so fucking fun in Mario Kart streams. Because, like, I, I think, like, the whole believers and doubters dynamic is so funny. It's funny because, like, I watched a few, like, tips and tricks on, like, what to do on Twitch, and, like, one of the tips was, like, be entertaining. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> like, I try. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna die. I died. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy talking. I found you unconscious in the mines. You're lucky it happened to pass by. Be a little more careful next time, okay? What did I lose? What did I lose? Oh, I lost $1,800. Fuck. Oh, I lost all my blackberries. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, that, that sucks. At least I didn't lose anything too good. I can just buy back my blackberries. Only 2k! Uh, 2k! Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Uh, that's okay, though. We're fine. We didn't lose anything too bad. One time, I lost my pickaxe during one time where, like, I passed out and it sucked. Oh, I'm feeling sluggish! Bad day. Bad day. Bad day. Did I not get my... I didn't get my blackberries back! Where'd it go? 
Rip, where? I lost all of them. Where? Literally, where did they go? I must have thrown them away by accident. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. One day I did that, like, I was, like, almost all of the way through the day, and I just reset because I was so mad after I accidentally threw something away. Okay, we're just gonna go home. <laughs> had a- had a bad day at work. <laughs> Man, it's been a long ass time since I've had to respawn. I'm usually pretty good about it. I'm just gonna blame. I have, cause like the health bar is in the bottom right corner, right? But like I have a plant that perfectly blocks my health and my energy bar. So we're just gonna blame that. I'm not gonna move that plant. We're gonna keep it there and use it as, as an excuse for Cause you know, that's what real people do. Not real people. Yeah, that was a bad bit. Like, I should have worked on that bit more. I need to work on my improv. Like, let's be real. Okay, yeah, we're gonna work on clearing out some of these trees the rest of the day. gotten three scam calls today. Three. And it's kind of sus because like they're all from my area code. It cheers me up whenever, like, the item bar moves to the top.
Okay, time to turn in for the night. I was gonna say, it's been a good day, but no. It was not a good day on the farm. He died in the mines. I have a joke. I'm gonna workshop it and tell it tomorrow. It's related. <laughs> uh... Sometimes my jokes hit, sometimes they don't. Depends on the day, I guess. Okay, let's see. So, tomorrow's gonna be Monday. So, we should probably get some seeds. Ready? I think we can make a few kegs. See what we need. Iron, copper, wood. Iron, copper, wood. Iron, copper, wood. Okay. Let's get some kegs started. I usually will do blueberry wine or cranberry wine. Okay, ready to go for Monday. So next week, because we're going to be doing different games the rest of this week. We can make mega bombs. Another joke? Not going to see that one. <laughs> okay, let's save here. Okay, so I'm going to call it a day here. Yeah, so thank you to anybody who came in today. We had Rady show up in chat. I appreciate you coming in. First time seeing your stream. It's really nice to see you in here. Um, I appreciate any lurkers as well. Thank you for spending some time with me today. So I will be back again same time tomorrow, 11 a.m. PST, continuing off with Garden Story. Uh, I know the game is a bit slow, but I also really like it. Graphics and music is very cute, so yeah. Hope you all have a good day. Bye.